Hey guys, my name is Andre, and my, I'm a private tutor, and I will um, webcast the most difficult questions that you have in Math 1. So for the first tutorial, let's go through question 1c. So let's write down question 1c. We have a to the power p times r times p root of a times r root of a divided by a to the power p plus r over pr. Now before going any further, let's write some formulas to remind ourselves how to use the power rules. So what formula is going to be useful here? This one m root of a to the power n does the same as a to the power n over m. Let's give an example. In our case we can see that we have p root of a. Now look, a is the same as a to the power of 1. So that would be equal to a to the power 1 over p. The same logic goes here, r root of a. Well, that's r root of a to the power 1, which is equal to a to the power 1 over r. Okay, now what else do we have? We have a division. We divide by a to the power p plus r over pr. Now let's write a formula that's going to be useful over here a to the power minus m is equal to 1 over a to the power of m. In our example, when we divide by a to the power p plus r over pr, that's the same as multiplying by a to the negative p plus r over pr. Now with this in mind, we can actually solve the question. We can rewrite what we just found out. So let's do it a to the power pr times 1, a to the power 1 over p, let's write it over here. Let's write that real quick, a to the power pr times p root of a times r root of a divided by a to the power p plus r over pr. So let's get going, a to the power pr times a to the power, remember that was 1 over p, from here, a to the power 1 over p. So we got a to the power 1 over 1 over p times a to the power 1 over r times a to the power negative p plus r over pr. That's what we just saw over here. Okay, what's the next rule that we're going to use? Well, now we have a multiplication with the same base. We have a as the same base and different powers. Let's write this general formula so we can remember. a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. So in our case we have a as a base and we add all these powers. So we're going to add all these powers. We have a to the power we we'll basically have a to the power pr plus 1 over p plus 1 over r minus p plus r divided by pr. Okay, let's see what we can do next. Let's write what we have. But then here we can deconstruct the p plus r because the numerator we could rewrite it as p divided by pr plus r divided by pr. And this is handy because now we can actually simplify some things. p cancels out with p, so p cancels out with p and we're left with 1. r cancels out with r and we're left with 1 as well. So let's go on. We have a to the power pr plus 1 over p plus 1 over r minus 1 over r minus 1 over p. Okay, so what happens next? Well, we can see that here we have plus 1 over p minus 1 over p. Well, they cancel out. Plus 1 over r minus 1 over r. They cancel out as well. So we're left with a to the power pr and that's the final answer. 